And it's like, oh, it's like the Ewok trap from Return of the Jedi. And they're like, oh, oh. And suddenly, they're accosted by this mysterious figure. It's like, who are you? Are you Glam Gold? Are you the, are you the fucking, uh, the Beaksley brothers? Who are you? Who sent you? And they're like, we're just fucking, you know, Mewy, Louie, and Dewey. We're just here to have fun and play with marbles. Hello, I just wanted to thank you for clicking on my video, and I wanted to let you know, not only do I create content on my YouTube channel here, Class in a Glass, but I'm also on Twitch, where I play single-player games, multiplayer games, I do movie reviews, cartoon reviews, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Also, it would be a big help if you can check out my Patreon, where you can gain access to uh, audio commentaries, reactions, and the ability to submit questions for my podcasts and video casts. And all that content can be found in the links below. In the meantime, enjoy the video there you go. now my friends now we got to get to tonight's next review my scene by scene by scene by scene breakdown chat for ducktales the reboot if you will the 2017 animated series shit episode one aptly named woohoo woohoo chat and we start out chat we fucking start out the very beginning of the episode fucking scrooge mcduck he's not a big deal anymore he's not a big deal anymore his legacy has fallen by the wayside, chat, but his family line, chat, continues on, and we're introduced. By the way, I gotta no, got start this out right. I gotta start this review off fucking right. My apologies, chat. No, 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 chat. We gotta start this review off right, okay? Who am I? Who am I to not start this without? Without? The classic theme song, chat. Please give me a second. Mm. Hold on. Hold on now. Let me get let me get this goddamn theme song up here. Alright. Here we are, chat. <clears throat> excuse me, excuse me. Now we're probably gonna be starting DuckTales, the 2017 animated series reboot chat episode one. Woohoo. And how's this episode open up, chat? Is it with fucking Donald Duck scolding his nephews because he's, you know, he's fucking stressed out because he's got a job? Is it, you know, Scrooge McDuck so disenfranchised because his life is falling apart? He's alienated his family, can't go any more fucking adventures? No! It starts with the theme song. Life is like a hurricane here in Duckburg. Race cars, lasers, aeroplanes. It's a duck blur. Might solve a mystery or rewrite history. Ducktales, ooh. Every day they're out there making ducktales, ooh. Tales of daring do bad and good luck tales. Ooh, when it seems that they're heading for the final curtain. I don't know how to fuck this song. Ah, fuck, I don't know the other part of that song. <laughs> Hold on. D -d -d Danger looks behind you. There's a stranger out to find you. What to do? Just grab onto some duck tales. D -d Danger. Oh, it fucking repeats. Oh, fuck it, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> they got they got the lyrics all messed up. They got the lyrics all messed up. That's their fault, chat. They repeat. They have some other lyrics. That's the old song. I don't know the fucking old song. Boo, boo on them. <laughs> Childhood has been ruined. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> well, it's perfect for this show. Remember right the show, chat, because things are not going well for Scrooge McDuck or Donald Duck or his nephew. I tried. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> they changed the lyrics up. They changed it on me. <laughs> oh, Lord. I don't know what the hell this becomes success. The worst of messes becomes success. What the fuck is that? I don't know how the fuck that goes. <laughs> They're changing things up on me, chat. Woohoo. There you go. There you go. But the episode opens up, Chad, you know, Scrooge McDuck, he's down his fucking luck, he's, he's lost touch with his family, he's very sad, he's a sad old man. But yeah, we're not following him at first, Chad, because we gotta catch up on Donald Duck. Donald Duck is having a stressful fucking day, okay? You know, he's, he doesn't have a job, lost his last job, Chad, and he's trying to care for his three nephews, Chad, his fucking sister, Della Duck. She got, she went on a fucking uh, uh, space adventure, she got lost. She's lost and presumed dead, and he's been raising her three boys the entire time. He shouldn't have to do that shit. He wants to live his own fucking life. He had his own goddamn dreams, right? He had his own goddamn dreams, and now he's forced to sacrifice them for his three very selfish nephews, Huey, Louie, and Dewey. He doesn't want to do that shit. He wants to do his own thing, but he, uh, Huey, Louie, and Dewey, that's what they're, that's what they're all about. That's all about them fucking selves. But they are trying to help out uh, good old Donald Duck, Uncle Donald, chat. Uh, you know, he's got a fucking job interview. 
He's very stressed out. The nephews are trying to make him some fucking uh, uh, breakfast. Hey, have your favorite. Uh, a disgusting cold fish with a, a very runny uh, egg on top. And he's like, boys, listen. He says, I can't, I can't do Donald Duck's voice yet. And he says, boys, uh, listen, before I go, I got to make sure the babysitter gets here. I can't leave you alone. Like, oh, fucking Uncle Donald, we're fine. You just leave us for a couple hours. It'll be no big deal. And he's like, let me see what the fuck this babysitter is. She hasn't called. She should be here by now. And she calls the babysitter, and he's like, hey, where the hell are you? And the babysitter's like, I, did you change your address? And she's out there in the middle of fucking nowhere. He's like, no, I didn't change my address. And he fucking hangs up on her, crazy old lady. And he's like, oh, it's 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock? Oh, no. My job interview's at 1030. You got to get going, Uncle Donald. Like, don't worry. But he's like, you guys don't have a fucking babysitter. He's like, don't worry about us. We, we, we practice safety. And they wear these fucking life vests because they live in a little fucking barge, live in a little boat. She's like, get your ass moving, Uncle Donald. And they put the fucking suit on him, Chad, and they, they pushing him out. And he's like, boy, he's like, I'm not so sure. He's like, don't worry. We're just going to stay here. No big deal. Don't worry about it. And right before he's about to leave, fucking... Um, uh, you know, the, the, the boat starts uh, going. It starts like the motor starts up. He goes, boys, where is your little brother? And you're like, uh, 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 we don't know. And they go inside and they see Dewey, Chad. You got Huey and Louie trying to help Donald on his way, trying to manipulate him. And they see little Dewey in there trying to get the boat going. So they're going to take it to a fucking theme park and just enjoy themselves. He's like, you little fucking shits. You shouldn't do that. We don't even have enough money. You know, you're coming with me. You're coming with me. And he puts him in the car. But like, Uncle Donald, you shouldn't keep us in the goddamn car. That's shit child abuse at least roll down the window and he goes no i'm taking you to someone he's like who are you taking uh, us to scrooge mcduck scrooge mcduck why is that and he's like he owes me a favor it's like okay shit what's this all about and then shall we cut and we're inside this board meeting where we see a very uh, distraught, very sad, just very, you know, angry, resentful looking scrooge mcduck chat voiced uh by um Oh God, help me out here, Chad. Oh my God, let me get let me get the the uh, D David Tennant, uh, notably played you know the the Doctor and in, in Doctor Who, Chad. I think it was the tenth Doctor. Um, played uh, 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 Kilgrave in the Jessica Jones series. Well accomplished actor, Chad. Amazing. Always good to see him and stuff. He's done voice acting before. He makes an excellent. He makes an excellent Scrooge McDuck. And you have these three fucking buzzards, chat, just going over all the finances of today. And they're saying, we're going to have to cut down all the adventuring, all the scuba dive equipment, also all the expeditions to the uh, South American jungles. He's, Scrooge is just like, yeah, great, no fun for me. Just depressed, just depressed. We see his vault. This is this. We he has amassed his fucking wealth. Chat, you know, gold coins, jewels, diamonds, everything. He has some gold coins. Like, all right, a few more coins for the fucking day. And he just goes outside. He goes outside. Got his fucking uh, limousine there. Chat hops on in, and his driver starts driving. Chad, the driver's all fucking erratic and shit. And we realize who's his driver. Chat Launchpad McQuack. It's Launchpad. And Launchpad's like, tough day at the office, Mr. Scrooge. He's like, it'll be a fucking, it'll be a tough day if you don't get me home. Jesus Christ, every fucking debt you make, I'm taking out of your goddamn salary. He's like, don't worry, uh, Mr. Scrooge. I'll make sure we get there in one piece. Well, I hope so. And he's fucking hitting every goddamn cartridge, smashing the things. Because Launchpad's a terrible fucking pilot and a driver. And, you know, Launchpad's always trying to, you know, talk with Uncle Scrooge. He's like, so how was your day today, sir? And Uncle Scrooge is like, don't fucking talk to me. And he's like, oh, okay, I understand. Stressful day. You know, my day was pretty stressful, too. And Uncle Scrooge just rolls up the fucking window. And Lost Man's like, oh, okay, he just wants some peace and quiet. Fair enough. And he keeps driving. Eventually, Chad, we cut back to uh, Donald Duck and the, and the boys, Huey, Louie, and Dewey. And they're freaking out because, you know, fucking, you know, screw, they don't know he's an uncle yet. And they're like, Scrooge McDuck, you mean the, the, the famous adventure? The, the trillionaire? It's like, uh, how do you know him? And Donald's not saying nothing. He is like, the less I say about this man, the better, okay? Just just keep your fucking yap shut. I'm gonna drop you off at his place. He owes me this. Don't worry about it. And eventually, they get to the they get to the, the mansion and they're trying to find a way inside. And you know, Donald, he's fucking trying to communicate with the the maiden there. You know, the the well, what, what's her name, chat? Uh uh, Mrs. Beakley, trying to communicate with Mrs. Beakley, but she's not getting to the door fast, and eventually, fucking Launchpad McQuack, he stops Limo right, right, you know, in front of Donald's car, and, you know, Scrooge is like, why aren't we fucking going inside the house? And Launchpad's like, oh, there's a vehicle ahead of us, sir, and fucking Scrooge is like, the fuck? And he gets out of the house, hey, hey, move your goddamn jalopy out of the way, I want to get inside, and, you know, Donald's like, fuck, I didn't want to have to face him, uh, right now.
And he gets out of the car, and he goes, hello, Uncle Scrooge. And the boys are like, what? He's our fucking uncle. Are you kidding me? He's our uncle? I can't believe it. And so now they're all excited. And, Don and Donald, he's like, he's like, listen, um, I have a job interview, all right? Whatever happened between us, let's just fucking ignore it for right now. Can I just drop off my three nephews, your nephews, for this afternoon? I'll pick them up after I'm done with my interview. And, you know, Uncle Scrooge is like, absolutely fucking not. I don't know who these little three are. No, no way. No, no, no. no. I'm not going to allow it. And Donald's like, listen, all the fucking things I've done for you throughout my entire life, all right? You owe me this. You owe me, you owe me for everything I've done. You owe me for Deli. He's like, don't you, don't you ever say her name in front of me again. He's like, listen. Just do this for me, okay? Just take it easy. I'll be back in, a, in an hour, and you'll be done. You'll be done, all right? And you'll never have to see me again, you piece of shit. He's like, fuck you, Donald. Fuck you, Scrooge. And he just leaves. And it's like, whoa. And Scrooge, he looks at the boys, and he gets back in his limo, and the boys are, like, following the limousine as it, as it parks right outside the uh, the house. Scrooge gets, gets out, and Launchpad's like, goodbye, Mr. Scrooge. He goes, like, ah, bah, humbug. And he goes in the house and just slams the door. <laughs> Just slams the door and the boys are just kind of sitting out there like, oh, are we supposed to go inside? And eventually, Mrs. Uh, Beakley, she opens the door and she goes, sorry, boys. And like, no problem, maid lady. And they go inside. And so and then Scrooge McDuck, he's sitting at uh, the table like Mrs. Beakley's just making uh, lunch or dinner for him. And he's reading his fucking paper. And the boys are just at the end of the table. Just like, oh, they're so excited to talk to their Uncle Scrooge. And Mrs. Beakley, she, push, she pushes the fucking paper down. It's like, talk to your nephews. And he's like, oh, I don't, I, what do you want me to say? I don't know, I don't know them. What do you want me to say? And she's like, fucking be a, a human being for once in your life. Be a duck. He's like, ah. And he's like, and the boys are like suddenly right up in his face. And he goes, ah, so are you, are you boys, you kids still in the like, Marbles and stuff, and they're going. They start, no, we're not into marbles, but we really want to know about what your life like, uh, uh, you know, uh, Uncle Scrooge. So, did you really go on all on these adventures? Did you really amass your your wealth through cultural appropriation? Why, why aren't you a big deal anymore? And he's like, what, the, what, what, what are you talking about? Stop, stop saying all these things. I can't answer all these questions. You're going too fast. Take it easy. But he's like, Uncle Scrooge, why aren't you relevant? He's like, I'm fucking relevant. I am. He's like, but all you do now is you're just like sitting here, all grumpy and old and stuff. I mean. You're kind of irrelevant. He goes, fuck you. And he put, he takes me, they ask Mrs. Beakley. And he's like, all right, fuck it, playtime. Go to the playroom. And Mrs. Beakley takes uh, uh, the three boys to the playroom, which is just an empty fucking room in the house covered in dust and spider webs and cobwebs and shit. And she goes, um, Uncle Scrooge says you need to be in this room. He's also provided this bag of marbles. He uh, wants every single marble returned by the time you leave the home. Uh, I'll see you in three hours. And she fucking closes the door and locks it. And these can the Huey Louie door are like, wow, what an asshole. Jesus Christ. He's going to hang over her uncle. There's no way he did all that, those things. He's such a prick. And you have uh, 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 Dewey just like, don't worry, guys. I have a plan to get us out of this room. He holds the back of my I was like, ah, oh, shit. Dewey's got a plan. And eventually, uh, we cut back to Scrooge. And Mrs. Beakley goes to talk to him. And he's like, why are you acting this way? And he goes, what, 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 what are you fucking talking to me? All right, you're, 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 you're my, you're my servant. All right, it's like, no, I'm not your fucking servant, okay? I'm the head of this goddamn house, all right? Those boys are your nephew, all right? And your, and your nephew, you know, they're your great nephew. Your nephew dropped them off. You should, you should interact with them, all right? You should, you know, engage with your fucking family. That's what you should be doing. He goes, ah, and she's badgering the whole time as they're walking down the house and we're passing by all these pictures and artifacts that Scrooge has acquired throughout his entire life. We see pictures of him with like his, with, with Donald, with, uh, with his, uh, his, his niece Della. She had like their happier times. He's looking at all these things. Meanwhile, we cut back to the boys, and Dewey's plan, apparently, Chad, is to just take the ball, the bag of marbles, and just hit the fucking door handle with it until it breaks off. And you're like, this is actually your plan, Dewey's like, well, usually this works, and he fucking hits it, and the, the door just fucking, uh, the door handle just falls off, and they go, yeah, it took a little longer than I thought it would. And it's like, okay, we have to infiltrate. We just gotta, you know, get to another side of the house and find all his cool stuff. And so they use the ventilation systems, Chad. 
And eventually they, they come upon uh, Mrs. Beakley and uh, Scrooge as they're walking down the hallway. And, the, the you know, Huey and Louie, they continue down. But Dewey, he listens to what Scrooge and Mrs. Beakley are talking about. And Mrs. Beakley says, don't you just want to be, want to, you know, be with your family again? And Scrooge is like, family is just too much trouble. Better to forget them, okay? I don't want to deal with it anymore. I just want to be left alone. And, Lu and, and Dewey hears this. He goes, what a piece of fucking shit. <laughs> We're like, fuck you, man. Fuck you. And he's, he's very resentful. Eventually, uh, we cut to the, you know, the, the boys, uh, uh, Huey and Louie. They, they uh, jump through the ventilation shaft, and Dewey's behind them. But he's just so disengaged at this point. He's just kind of upset by what Scrooge said. And he's like, hey, man, let's go find some fun stuff to do. He's like, what does it fucking matter? He doesn't even want us here. And he's like, what are you talking about? And all of a sudden, Chad, they step in this trap. And there's like this bear trap. And they're suddenly like lifted up into the goddamn sky. Like, and it's like, oh, it's like the Ewok trap from Return of the Jedi. And they're like, oh, oh. And suddenly... They're accosted by this mysterious figure. It's like, who are you? Are you Glam Gold? Are you the are you the fucking uh the Beagsley brothers? Who are you? Who sent you? And they're like, we're just fucking you know, when Huey, Louie, and Dewey, we're just here to have fun and play with marbles. And it's revealed. Who is it, Chad? It's Webby Beakley. It is the uh it is the granddaughter of 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 uh, Mrs. Beakley Chad. And she goes, Oh my god! And she's like, You're the nephews of Donald and the great nephews of the great Scrooge McDuck. And she cuts him down. She's like, I gotta know everything about you. It's like, what do you what 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 are your grades in school? What's your blood type? What adventures have you been on? And they're like, Who the, who are you? She's like, Oh hi, I'm Webby. I my spend most of my time researching the the the, the McDuck family. You have a fascinating history, like we do. She goes, oh yeah, no, you guys are amazing. I have I've helped built a whole fucking uh, 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 history, a historical timeline of your family. It's revealed. We see this huge fucking thing. We learn like Scrooge's sister, uh, they married this other guy, and that produced Donald and the, the nephews. Like all this, he, she she fucking detailed it all out and references a ton of Easter eggs to the McDuck family chat. Devil's hand, thank you for the big booty butt welcome. Hope you're doing very well, family bro, bro quack. Indeed, Cass Faye, indeed. She details all this shit, and the boys are kind of like, I, I, we don't really believe you. And she goes, no, 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 it's all true. It's all true. Here, let me show you. I'll take you to Scrooge's museum, his museum of antiquities. And they're like, all right. And eventually they go to the, uh, his museum. She they opens the door, and they see all this stuff. And they're like, whoa, this is amazing. Because they see jewels. They see treasure chests. They see these ancient artifacts, these sarcophagus, these massive statues. And then we see, uh, I believe it's uh, 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 Huey Louie. Uh, yeah, uh, Louie, Louie takes this, like, he has this, like, little green, he has this, like, little green, uh, sticky, uh, notepad, and he starts putting all these sticky notes and everything, and they're going, what are you doing that for? He's like, oh, I'm just marking all the stuff I'm gonna take when, when I leave from here. It's like, you can't do that stealing! And eventually they get to this massive portrait, which is, you know, from the comics, where you see Scrooge. He's like sitting in this, you know, massive amount of gold, has this fucking giant crown on. Then they're like, whoa, that's so cool. When they see in the corner chest, swing on a vine, is Uncle Donald. Like, oh, that's fucking bullshit. There's no way. No, this is all fake. Uncle Donald was was uh, was with Scrooge? No. And she goes, oh, no, Webby's like, yeah, no, uh, d d Donald Duck is one of the greatest adventures of all time. He would go on all of Scrooge's um, uh, expeditions along with uh, his, his sister, Della Duck. And you're like, Uncle Donald, no way. He's like, this is all fake. She goes, no, it's all real, I swear. And they're like, really? Okay, sure, all right. And they're like, she shows them like all these arts. Like, the, like this, this is the glove of Medusa. If you were to touch it, it'll turn you to stone. Ah, and they go, yeah, yeah, whatever. That looks like you can get, just get that at Party City. And she goes, well, you, you also have this ancient dragon statue. If you hit the gun three times, you will summon him. And he consumes all metallic objects in the area, especially gold. And they hit one of the guns again. They hit it. And she's like, don't do it again. Don't do it again. And she's like, what's going to happen? Is it going to come to life? She's like, yeah, it's going to come to life. And they go fake, you know. We can you can buy this at you know any at a Home Depot, whatever. And you know she goes, well, there's this mystical treasure chest. It's filled with rubies and diamonds. And she opens it up, and they're going, well, yeah, what the fuck's gonna come out of it? A pirate ghost? And a fucking living fucking pirate ghost goes, ah! Comes and they go, holy fucking shit! And it starts to try to kill him. Starts and they're like, they're freaking out, chat. 
and this ghost starts chasing him around the, the entire uh, museum, if you will. And eventually, you know, uh, fucking Webby, she grabs this sword, but oh no, Chad, not that sword. That sword, uh, as soon as you touch it, 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 it will kill your chosen victim, Chad, like the one you intend to kill. The thing is, they want to kill the pirate ghost, but the pirate ghost is already dead. And so it's, it's fucking just going around the room, just all confused, just stabbing the ghost, but it's nothing. It was also fucking stabbing them. It's pure, utter fucking chaos at this point. And eventually, they hit the gong a second time. They're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. He's like, don't hit the gong, because then you'll summon the evil fucking dragon. And at this point, the boys are like, okay, we're sorry. We're just going to sit here. We're just going to call for Uncle Scrooge and make sure nothing bad happens. But chat, they hit, they, they, they sit on the haunted saddle of the decapitated horse. And this decapitated horse zombie arrives and starts chasing them around the room along with the pirate and the sword. And eventually, the decapitated horse god and the pirate ghost and the sword that tries to stab people they all teamed up and they're trying to kill the children and they're just fucking running around the whole goddamn thing trying to survive and eventually Scrooge he, Scrooge, he hears all this racket and he busts on he's like what the fuck is going on what did you kids do and they're going we're, Scrooge, we're so sorry we're so sorry we're just hanging out and and then he's like where are the marbles he's like we still have the marbles he's like give me those marbles <laughs> put these marbles keep them safe um what the hell are you doing? And we see the pirate ghost and the fucking sword and the, and the, and the headless uh, uh, horse. And he's like, oh, shit, you resurrected all this shit. All right, I'll take care of it. And the ghost is like, I will never rest until I have the head of Scrooge McDuck. And this point, Scrooge is like, okay, no problem. And so what he does is he takes the fucking sword chat from the ghost, chops off the head of a, of a, of a stone uh, a statue of Scrooge McDuck gives the ghost the head. It's like, here's the head of Scrooge McDuck. And he goes, fuck, I should have been more specific. And he's sucked back into the, the, the chest, the haunted chest. And eventually, uh, Scrooge, because the, the horse needs a head shade, will rip the head off a of victim until it gets a head. And Scrooge puts the stone head of Scrooge McDuck on the horse, and it communicates via, uh, you know, uh, what is it? Oh, God, what's the, the goddamn, but like, um, mm, mm. Oh, I, should, I forgot the... But it, it, it communicates via its hoofs, Chad. It communicates via its hoofs. And it says, yes, I, I have a tamed head. I'm no longer a freak. And it runs free, Chad. It runs across Duckburg for all of eternity. Morse code. Morse code, Chad. It communicates via Morse code. And Scrooge is like, okay, you guys got to get out of my garage. And they're like, this is your garage? He goes, yeah, of course it is. And he fucking opened, hits a button, Chad, opens up. <laughs> and they're going, but Webby's like, no, 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 no. This, this, this is your... This is your museum. You have the hose of destiny. It's just a fucking garden hose and the wheelbarrow filled with swords. And it's just like garden tools. He's like, oh, shit, this is, is this is just a garage, isn't it? Yes, this is my garage. I'm like, what's a garage? He's like, that's a gar Ugh, Whatever. Listen, you shouldn't be in here. This is very dangerous. You shouldn't mess with stuff like this, okay? Like, you know, you, you could break this. And he hits the gone again with the dragon on it. And they go, oh. And he goes, what are you fucking worried about? It only summons the dragon if you hit it three times. You hit this twice already, didn't you? And they go, yeah. He goes, fuck. And this giant fucking golden dragon just comes out of its, its like stone casing chat. And he's like, I'm going to need all your fucking gold. And he's burst off through the garage. He's like, no, not my gold. Because he's going towards the Scrooge McDuck's vault chat where his entire fortune is. He's like, oh, my God. And he's like, he jumps on the tail of the dragon. He's like, I'm going to come back here. I'm going to kick your little ass. And he goes, Whoa. And he just launches off. And at this point, they're like, oh my god, Scrooge, he's old and stuff, he's gonna die. It's like, we need to, we need to somehow fly up there and grab him. We need a pilot. And launch, <laughs> launch Bam McQuack goes, I'm a pilot. <laughs> he just shows up randomly like, you, random stranger, adult stranger, please take us to Scrooge McDuck. We need to save him and his gold. He's like, let's do it, random children. And so they all pile into his fucking plane chat. And they chase after Scrooge McDuck. And they also take some other, like, uh, cursed objects with them in case they know how to fight the dragon. Meanwhile, Scrooge is on top of this fucking dragon. He's just trying to beat the shit out of it. Like, Jesus Christ, please don't eat all my gold. Dragon's like, I'm gonna eat all your fucking gold. Destroying half a duck bird chat, just slamming in the, in the buildings like a Zack Snyder movie all of a sudden. And eventually he lands on top of the vault, right? And he starts burrowing inside because he wants to eat all the gold. And Scrooge is fucking panicking at this point. The dragon just kicks him off, chat. He's flying in the air, falling to his goddamn doom. Not going well. Meanwhile, Chad, we cut back to Donald Duck. Things are going well at the office he's interviewing at. He's a little stressed out, Chad. Just notices people have all the resumes stapled. He's like, well, I want to staple my resume. Sees a staple nearby, tries to staple it. Not working. Not working. Not working. And he fucking flips out as he always does, Chad. Can't control his anger very well. He starts freaking, and we have to get this one sign. It's like, you are being recorded. Say hi. And he you know, eventually staples himself to a wall, just super stressed out. 
But now, Chad, we cut back to Scrooge. He's falling to the fucking earth itself. Going to hit that ground. Just explode. But thankfully, Chad, launch pad McQuad. He's flying right nearby. And the boys, they grab onto their uncle and they drag him inside. He's like, boys, oh my God, you, 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 you saved me. And they're like, of course, your uncle, Uncle Scrooge. He goes, yeah, I am, yeah. And... And they're like, well, how are we going to do to stop the monster? He's like, there's nothing we can do. I mean, we got to go back to the garage. By that time, he'll eat on my gold. And Webby's like, no, no, Uncle Scrooge, I brought this. And we see, Chad, it's the cursed uh, um, um, uh, 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 stone glove of Medusa. He goes, oh, Webby, that's brilliant. He takes the stone glove, puts it on, Chad, and he launches. He, he falls out the back of the plane. Grabs in the dragon, and right before it's about to take its first chomp of his fortune, Chad turns that fucker to stone. And eventually, Chad, he, he crushes, he punches it in the face, and it disintegrates, it disintegrates. And they all, they, they all meet in the vault. The boys and Webby, they see his, um, his incredible fortune. And Shruji comes out. He goes, that was amazing. I mean, the way you three just came in there and saved me and Webby, there was such a brilliant idea using the, the, the stone glow of Medusa that was so smart. And he goes, oh, I just... I wouldn't have been able to do this without my family. And then he realizes, like, oh, my God. Like, the thing that was missing in his life, Chad, was not, like, going on all these grand adventures. It's, like, the thing that he missed was his family. Like, I've never felt this alive in years. And he goes, hey, kids, why don't we go on an adventure? And I go, where are we going, Mr. F uh, Scrooge? He's like, we're going on a field trip to Atlantis. And they're like, yay! Which is a big arc from the original series and they're all happy. It's like, whoa, we're going to fucking Atlantis, shit. Cannot wait to go there. Eventually cut back to a Donald Duck and he's just fucking stapled himself to the wall just going, <sighs> just sad because he know he didn't get the job. All of a sudden, chat, this mysterious person comes out of the darkness and says, congratulations, Donald. You got the job. And he's like, really? He goes, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, welcome to Glomgold Industries. And it's Glomgold, chat. It's one of Scrooge McDuck's arch enemies is like do you happen to know how to get to atlantis and that my friends is ducktales episode one of the 2017 animated reboot woohoo woohoo chat the stakes are fucking high both going to fucking atlantis chat donald being manipulated by glomgold not good not good chat we shall see but at least scrooge reunited with his family chat and he could continue to live again hope you can enjoy hope you enjoyed the review chat now, my friends, we're going to be going ahead and get into uh, some single-player shenanigans in Sleeping Dogs, which should be fun. Mm, just give me one moment, Jen, as I uh, check some things really quick. Boom. Excellent. Ever seen DuckTales? I see it's great. Yeah, the, the new rebooted series is really, really good. It's very funny. But now, my friends, let's go ahead and play some Sleeping Dogs. <laughs> 